YouTube, what is happening, man? It's the Kid Zed back at it again with another video. Um, if you saw the title of the video or the thumbnail and you clicked on this video because of that reason, thank you for tuning in to this video. Um, on my channel, I do kick pickups, Ross Burlington pickups, uh, thrift finds, yard sale finds, whatever, you know, catches my eye. Um, I usually just go with it. Uh, so, yeah. Um, today's vid is going to be a kick pickup. Uh, I, I'll show you guys one of the thrift finds I got. Um, that was waiting for me when uh, I got back from Vegas. Um, here is an Air Jordan. I can't remember what these are called. Air Jordan Retro 12 Gym Reds. I scored these uh, before I went down to Vegas. Um, these things were in horrible condition. These pair, this pair is actually better than the previous pair that I had purchased because if you guys remember that pair, it had a bunch of heel drag. So that's kind of the reason why I scooped this pair up. And the reason why I believe this went so cheap, um, see if you can focus on because this pair went pretty cheap uh but i'll show you the reason why i did bring these back to life so i'm gonna put the picture up right here so that is what they look like before i cleaned them man they were ashy as heck man i don't know what's going on there's some color distraction color uh the color was kind of fading away and i brought them back to life with new life uh the suede treatment uh new life uh not the antidote but the suede treatment um, what's it called? Just Wade. Uh, I brought it back with that. Cleaned them and did it with that. But yeah, that was a pickup before, that I got before I went to Vegas. And it was back. Well, it wasn't even back uh, when I got home. It took like three or four days after I got home. But it was supposed to arrive while I was down there. Uh, so yeah, but I did pick up some while I was down there. Um, this is a shoe that's being slept on right now, man. I don't know why. It's a pretty clean colorway in my opinion. Um, if I do recall, they did really release the same colorway similar to it, but uh, they did have a Jumpman on the back. You know how old ones used to have them. Uh, but yeah, so here it is. You got that white and metallic purple box. That's pretty clean, man. Um, and I caught these from a sneaker page down in Vegas. I found them on Facebook, and I found them on IG, and I messaged them. So shout outs to sneakers.702. I'll put their IG right there. Um, yeah, this guy was real cool, man. Um, I was trying to pick up a pair of shoes that whole time while I was down there in Vegas. Uh, the kick stores were, they didn't have nothing. I think the only thing I seen was those Paris Retro 7s. I don't know what they're called. I'll put the picture right there. Um, and some Flint 7s. That's the only things they had at the mall out of every single store. I did check out Urban Necessities. Urban Necessities guys are doing your thing man that was pretty cool man but i found this page i was just searching and i came across this ad said go to my ig i messaged the guy and this guy was pretty cool man because he he messaged and i told him i wasn't mobile and he was just like uh well i got some stuff to do at mandala bay uh, i have a meeting and after that maybe we could meet up and i didn't think it was going to happen because you know i wasn't mobile i didn't have no car and he was like, yo, where you at? I told him where I was at. And he, after his meeting, he brought the shoes to me. So shout outs to you, man, that I could not leave Vegas without this pair, man. So here it is. We are checking out a uh, size 12. This is a woman's exclusive. Uh, so a size 12 would be my size 10 and a half in mint. Um, these did come from, I can't remember what that store is called, Undefeated. Uh, so here it is. On, when you open the box, you're greeted with the white tissue paper with little jump mans on the uh, bag. But here they are. The Air Jordan Retro Ones uh, Court Purples. The highs. Um, if you guys don't know the colorway, it's a Women's Air Jordan or Women's Air Jordan 1 High OG. And the color is white, court purple, plant, violet, court. I don't know what that is. Um, but like the vids. We'll check it out one by one. So here it is. The Air Jordan Retro 1 High Court Purples, man. These things right here are being slept on hard, man. Because I think they're going for under $200. Um, he had that metallic, metallic purple, man. That thing is clean. You have a purple wings logo. Then you have on the heel, or the heel. You have on the ankle, this, uh, the metallic purple wrapped around it. And on the inside, you're greeted with a silk lining, which is pretty clean, man. I dig that. Then you have that same silk lining on the tongue. This is a pretty clean shoe, man. And the tongue's probably the coolest part. 
So on the tongue you have the Nike Air, right? It's just your regular uh, patch, but the tongue is a leather tongue. And this leather, this leather does not feel cheap, man. This whole leather in general does not feel cheap. Uh, I was really excited when these were dropping, man, because if you guys don't know, um, purple is my favorite color. Uh, and the court purples, I have the court purple ones. That's my favorite color too. Uh, let me take the shoe tree out for you guys. On the toe box, you have some somewhat good leather. I wouldn't say it's like the best, but it's pretty soft. Like it's not, it doesn't feel like that hard plastic. Like I want to say when I rock the retro fives, the great fives, that's one of my favorite shoes. Um, it's like a hard plastic, man. The toe box starts to hurt my, like a, not my, like the middle of my foot. It starts to hurt because it's pressing against my foot while I'm walking. Like it's walking and it's like just pushing into my foot. Like I used to love rocking those things, man, but I can't rock them for long anymore. This thing right here is just an all around great shoe. Like it's built well. Like look at that. And the retro one is one of my favorite shoes. When I seen these, I knew I had to have them. And I thought um, when they were dropping, I thought when they were, let me wipe my sweat, man. I thought when they were going to release, I thought the resale was going to be high. So I was like, damn, man, it's going to be impossible. But when we got down to Vegas, I knew I couldn't leave without this shoe. I was just like, I need it. I need to add this to my collection. With the how prices are right now, I kind of want to get another pair. That way I could rock the heck out of these. Um, you do have the white laces, which I'm not a fan of white laces, man. White laces and me do not go well because I live out on the reservation. And if you guys know reservation, it's just all dirt. So I'm probably going to be putting the spare laces in because you do get that purple lace. Man, these things, in my opinion, man, scale 1 to 10, these are a 10, man. These things are freaking clean, man. It's an all-white shoe, but it does have the purple bottom. Like that is, whoo, sheesh. I'm just in love with purple. Like purple is my favorite color. And I dig that you have the silk uh, liner. Feels pretty, pretty nice. And I dig the leather tongue. I wonder, I don't know how these are going to be. I wonder if they're going to be hot. Because, you know, it's just, your foot's going to be all wrapped in. Like, whoo, it's going to be, it's feel, I'm going I'm to rock these and feel like a million bucks, man. These things right here are nice. There's the inside for you guys. I don't think I showed you the inside. But comment down below where these rank in your shoe. Like in your shoe of the year. This is definitely in the top man. Because this is a, a very slip on shoe. I don't know if it's because it's a women's sizing shoe. Like I felt like if this was a men's shoe. You know like the court purple. I felt like people would have been drawn more to it. Um, and I feel like it could be the size, the size run. Because I feel like 12 was the last size that it went up to. Uh, so that's a ten and a half. So imagine like being a size 13 and one in the shoe man, but it only went to 12 So I could kind of see why that's not playing I could see why that's playing a factor in why a lot of people are sleeping on it because it didn't go all the way up to What would a 13 be in men's a 14 and a half? Yeah, 14 and a half in women's so I could kind of see why let me check that real quick I'm not too sure if that's true or not um, If it's if it runs up to bigger sizes because I'm pretty sure 12 is the biggest size yep 12 is the biggest size it went from 5 in women's to 12 in women's so like sheesh so I could kind of see why that's playing a factor in why people are sleeping on it because you know it only went up to 12 and that's why nobody's I bet the people that really do want them are like bigger than a size 10 and a half so I could kind of see why that's being slept on but man these things beautiful i love them i give it a 10 out of 10 20 man like this thing's right this is the first time i ever felt like i need a second pair i even posted on my snapchat i haven't posted on my ig yet but i most likely will man because these things i'm gonna beat the sh out of them man and being on the res like if you guys see my court purple ones man those things are i retired those a while ago man but this right here i give it a thumbs up man it's a clean it's an all-around clean shoe man because it's a lot of white but the small amount of purple it has balances out like you have the purple bottom then you have the purple swoosh with the what would you call this the purple I don't know around the ankle 
then you have that small little hit right there you throw them purple laces in man that's going to balance out the white man because this is a nice shoe and it does have a lot of white um these guys just provide me oh man did i lose it these guys did provide me with the original receipt i don't think i showed you guys the inside but on the sole you have a purple insole with the nike air on the tongue yeah i think i lost it but these guys did provide me with the original receipt that came from um uh, i don't know what this store is down in vegas uh uh i think it is i think it's undefeated i'm not too sure but that's a uh sticker it came with uh so that's the sticker it came with right there um it did come with that receipt from that sticker but yeah shout out to them I dig this box, man. I wish it didn't get so beat up on my way here. But um, when we went to Vegas, there's like seven of us that went. So it got kind of squished. Man, look at that purple, man. Just that white and metallic purple box, man. That's pretty clean. I just dig it. So I'm going to fix these real quick. Yeah, I did have the original receipt, but I don't know where it went. But yeah, this thing right here, all around clean shoe. In my opinion, man, this thing gets a thumbs up. Um, just, uh, hold on. Damn, it's hot. But yeah, just in my opinion, I do give it a thumbs up, man. If you're looking to cop this shoe, I would cop it right now because this thing right here for a size 12, 10 and a half in men's, that's going for under $200. So if you're willing to cop it now, or if you're wanting this pair, I would say cop now because I do have a feeling this thing will go up like those, uh, metallic red ones. Those things were sleepers. They're going under retail. I don't know if they showed up at the outlets, but I remember them going for the low, and those prices just went up. Uh, I'll try to put the price, what it's at right now, or if you don't know what shoe I'm talking about, um, I'll put the picture right there. But yeah, I feel like this price will go up. Um, it's going to take a minute, but I want to say by the end of the year, it might get up there. I'm not too sure. I'm very interested to see what this shoe is going to do, man. But in my opinion, if you do want this shoe, I try to cop right now because they're going for around 200 and that's probably what a retail pair would go for, you know, like a pair of um, Retro 5s or any other retro that releases because shoes tend to retail for 190 and after taxes here, they're like around 215 to 220 after taxes. But yeah, man, that is today's vid, man. If you like this video, man, please, please smash the like button down at the bottom. Uh, turn on post note or oh, wait, like button. Uh, but if you're new here, please consider smashing the subscribe button. Turn on post notifications so you know when I upload a new video. And if you're not new, thank you for tuning in to yet another video. It's because you guys, I keep on going. Comment down below, man. Is this a sleeper shoe? Are you going to pick up the shoe? If you did, how much did you pay for it? Uh, me, I paid 210 for the shoe, which I thought was uh, a pretty fair price because on stock they're going for around two, which is going to come out to like 230 240 ish after shipping, taxes, and fees. And 210 I, I the way I seen it, it was 200 for the shoe, and the guy... Um, I gave him $10 for gas, but yeah, man, like I said, if you guys want to check, check out that page, um, it's sneakers.702. So yeah, they sell kicks. They've been grinding, man. I've been seeing them post a lot of crazy stuff on their IG story. And the guy told me when I linked up with him that he is willing to ship. And so, yeah, just DM him. He's pretty fast about his, uh, response. Like if he doesn't respond quick he'll respond the next day like that's what he did with these he's just like i'll message you tomorrow I'll see what we can do and he messaged and he's like i'm on my way and he literally got those to me right before we left to vague or before we left vegas back to home to washington so that was you know uh, huge 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 things man but yeah until next time i'll see you guys later